we are stuck in the middle of the road. Very difficult to access. Like guys and welcome to another video on the channel if you're new here my name is Danny and I do travel vlogs mostly around the UK but this past few days I've been exploring Hungary and today we'll be covering what exactly is there to see and do in Lake Balaton Lake Balaton is probably one of the most popular things or areas to see in Hungary possibly the second most popular after Budapest of course it is a very big area it is a very beautiful area there is way too much to see and do here so I'll be covering whatever weekend during our trip but just bear in mind that there is a lot more to see than just what I will be covering of course but in the description down below you can find a link to a map where I cover pretty much all of the sites that there is to see and things to do as well in the country so if you are interested in that then you can purchase just follow the link down below in the description before we continue looking at what we saw in the area let's just have a quick look at what Lake Balaton really is located southwest of Hungary's capital city Budapest it's clearly the largest lake in the country, and actually the largest in all Central Europe, extending for about 77 kilometers and 14 kilometers across on its widest point, and with an area of almost 600 square kilometers. It is well known amongst Hungarians as a great holiday destination due to its beaches and water activities available, resort seaside towns, beautiful views, mountain hikes, and so much more including castle ruins and vineyards, and not to be forgotten, one of the Europe's largest open-air electronic music summer festivals, Balaton Sound Festival. As you can guess, all of this means that this region can get pretty touristy and crowded during peak season. Over the years, there's been a debate to whether people prefer the south or north of the lake, and unsurprisingly, most people prefer the north. The most popular towns in the area are Tihani, with gorgeous views over the lake and known for its lavender, Tapolka, known for its magical, crystal clear water caves, Heves, the town of the interesting and very popular thermal lake, as well as Keslany, mostly known for Festetics Palace. You might also hear about other places such as Siafok, the popular resort town of Balaton Fored, Panaxoni for its vineyards. Sigligat Castle and super interesting mountain rock formations which names I can't pronounce. Uh, not that I was able to pronounce everything until now properly to be honest so uh, yeah. But if you're not new to the channel you know that I am not one to settle for the popular locations and Lake Balaton just like any other popular area has its fair share of hidden gems. After a great research on the area and lots of logistics, I was able to squeeze in our two-day itinerary two of them, which were exactly the first stops of our trip. So let's start with the first one. We are starting at a church that is in the middle of nowhere. And by nowhere, I mean nowhere. And we are stuck in the middle of the road because we are trying to go past some ponds and a terrible road. Uh, so that's what we are trying to do. We're trying to clean the road so that we can go over by car. In the end, we gave up on the idea of driving there, parked our car in a quarter of the road, not too sure if it was in the right place or if the car even should be there, and walked for about 46 minutes each way. All of this could be prevented had I realized that Google Maps was sending us through the worst possible way and that we could reach the church by car if driving through Somogivar. This church looks particularly nice during summer and from above, but the wind was so strong I didn't even attempt to take off. Still a quite nice place to visit as long as you know how to get there. Next stop was the second hidden gem on this list. Definitely more popular than the first one, but still missed by many visitors, which was honestly quite a surprise to me. Because we visited out of season, it was completely deserted and we didn't have to pay for parking, but it does look like you would have to if visiting during peak months. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. 
passar de frente, parecia-me. Mas também não sei o quê. Faço a mínima ideia, ou que seja. It looked like a wonderful place for bird watching as we saw some beautiful and different species flying around. And just like the church, the views here are starting from above, especially when everything turns green. But once again, I could not capture that. Next, we'll be moving on to the more popular attractions, starting with Hevis. Because we wasted a lot of time in the morning trying to reach the church through the wrong path, and I'll blame it on Google Maps and my lack of awareness of its limitations, sadly, we got to the thermal bath just as it was closing its doors. I didn't get to see much of the popular and wonderful thermal lake, and I also knew it was getting dark to see our next stop by daylight, so we just walk a bit around and drove straight to Kessley. Castle was a place I wish I would have more time to explore and appreciate. The calmness of the water and quiet atmosphere we felt as walking along the pier at night made me feel in love with this town. We then spent the night at Tapolka, what would be the first stop of our next day in Lake Peloton. The place we stayed at was ideally located 5 to 10 minutes walk away from the main attractions in the town, had comfy beds and tidy rooms, and also a lovely breakfast that I certainly enjoyed. I'll leave the link to this accommodation in the description below, as well as the link to the place we spent the first night. I didn't mention it before, but when we drove from Budapest to Lake Palaton, we had a quick stop at a lovely town which we got the chance to browse through in the evening and ended our journey in Siafok, at a lovely villa that could have been a much better experience had they left toilet paper in the apartment, because, uh, you know, we kind of needed it. I didn't find any other reviews online about this missing during their visit, so I guess we were just very unlucky. They provide a basket breakfast in the morning, which wasn't very good in my opinion, but the property itself was spacious and quite modern. By booking your hotels or anything else through the links in the description of this video, you'll be helping out the channel at no extra cost to you. So thank you! Now back to the itinerary, let's start with our second day, and I'll make a very bold statement and say that Tapolka is the most beautiful town in Lake Palatine. Of course, this is just my opinion, and as someone who loves colorful buildings and towns with any sort of water, I am completely biased. So no matter how popular and beautiful Tihani might be, Tapolka was the place that stole my heart. Wanna know why? Let's just let the vlog do its thing, shall we? Pessoal, está aqui e tem que se deitar. Ah, ah, esta zona é mais bonita aí à frente. Uau! Uau! Let me just ask you this, with again my biased opinion. Where do you have the chance to go on a little boat, on your own, around the cave with such crystal clear waters? I mean. Probably there's more places, but I have never seen them or have been to them, so this was a magical experience to me. If you know of any other similar places, do let me know in the comments, I would love to add them to the list. Oh, and yes, this is the photo that we got. Since there's no sign of where exactly the camera is, you will most likely get a candid photo. So after loads of pictures and great memories at the stunning cave in Tapolka, we drove towards Tihani, the popular town in the area, known for its lavender and gorgeous views all over. We started our visit at one of the many viewpoint towers in the area, and to be honest, Hungary is full of them, so you'll find them all over the country. This one in particular is just a few minutes hike from the car park, around 15 minutes walk. 
and the views are pretty incredible, which makes it such a great spot to visit and definitely one not to miss. The second spot on my list, however, mm, not so much. Uh, the next stop we have in Tihani, it's supposed to be a uh, monk's dwelling, but it's very difficult to access like by car, so you would need to go on a trail. And because we are short on time and we're just exploring what we can from Tihani and then head to the next destination, we realized we didn't have time for that. It would probably take us maybe like an hour to go and come back. Uh, so next we're gonna visit the center of the town, but I'll make sure I leave the name below so you can check that one out as well. Tihani is definitely a location where you could spend an entire day at if you wanted and since we didn't, we did not get to see the town from different angles and visit every single thing. One of the top things to do here is visiting the Echo Hill, where one should stand in front of a statue, shout a two-syllable word and wait for the echo. Water! Let me explain. In front of the hill, you will find a very popular Abbey church that you see in almost any Tihani postcard. According to locals, ever since the church was built in the 18th century, any sound issued from the hill towards the church would echo thanks to its walls. That was until later in the 19th century when the villa, now a kindergarten, and further buildings were built between the church and the hill, reducing the echo effect. Most people, especially those visiting during summer when it's crowded, claim that the echo is a thing of the past, while others say that the echo is still there, just a little weak now. So I had to try it. Water! Eu ouvi um pouco, ouvi isso? Não? Espera aí. Water! Não ouviste? <laughs> In the end, I didn't know if what I heard was my echo or not, but I think it was. Water! Water, pode ser. This is a common practice around here, so even if you feel like a fool for doing so, no one really pays attention to it. I can imagine this being a quite entertaining location during the summer months. As you walk towards the prominent Tihani Abbey, you can visit different Christian monuments one of them being the Calvary of King Charles IV, and many cute hay roof buildings, including souvenir shops. So Tihani is also, I could say, the capital of lavender. It's basically the place where you'll find lavender products because they have a lavender field. So they will sell loads of lavender products, as you can see, and it smells very nice. But also other kind of stuff like um, artifacts, Lots of cups, very cute ones. So of course we're not gonna see the lavender fields because we are in the wrong season for that. <laughs> uh, but this would be the place to come to if you want to see lavender in Hungary. Sadly, the abbey was under construction when we visited, but the views to the lake were worth the walk there. It is open at the moment, so you can visit the interiors. We decided not to go. It's about five euros for you to go in, but at least you can still visit the inside, which is nice. And now there is something right here, which is cute. So I'm going to shoot it. Of course, I couldn't help but find out what this cute little creature was. A quick Google search revealed that this is a mini statue of a well-known Hungarian cartoon, where the main character is a bluebird that loves chocolate. This explains the amount of photos on Google reviews of the bud with chocolate on its feet. I kind of wondered why the chocolate was there. Although, I also wonder what happened to his hair.
Anyways, there's plenty more to do in Tihani, but for someone who was here just for a couple of hours, this is what we could really squeeze in. Another thing I would like to mention is the amount of different designs and architecture that we saw when it comes to residential buildings. It feels as though Hungary has extremely talented architects and are pioneers when it comes to construction. I might be wrong, but that was what I felt every time I saw buildings like this. To finish the day, we drove off Lake Balaton towards two nearby abandoned locations. Next week's video, I'll be showing you around all of the abandoned spots we visited while in Hungary, so you can expect a much more dark and serious video from me. Except, let's be honest, I can't be too dark nor too serious, so uh, there's that. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you would like to do more for the channel, check the pinned comment on this video. Also, don't forget that the complete map to Hungary is available in our shop if you're interested in it. I hope you're well, appreciate you sticking around until the end, and I will see you next week. Bye bye! So I'll ignore them. So I'll see you. <laughs> Known for its magical cluster crystal. Known for its magical cluster crystal. Vineyards, 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 vineyards or vineyards. There we go again. Sorry. Vineyards. 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 Sizigliget. Sizigliget. Sizigliget.